If you ask me, what is the best award in my career? I can tell you. It is seeing Hannah running around and doing all the things that a typical four-year-old could do. Hannah, she was born in February of 2019. And in early 2020, we just noticed when she would finally start pulling up on stuff that she didn't want to stay up long. And she kind of had just a slight little bow to her legs. And when we did get her to walk, she walked like a penguin. But when she was about a year and a half, you could see something was wrong with her. She wasn't happy. She was in pain constantly. One day I went to the doctor and something just made me stop. And I said, Dr. Steger, would you watch her walk? And so we walked out in the hall and all of a sudden I looked up at Dr. Steger and she was like, we need to get an x-ray. And she tells me, hey, I want you to know the initial blood work shows that she has some levels that didn't mm -hmm. look right. right. So we've sent those over to our endocrinologist to review. Within 30 days, we were able to get in to see Dr. Alvarez. Oh, um, what a blessing. I remember when I first met her, I saw this beautiful, smart, gracious girl, but she wanted to be held all the time. She was refusing to walk because she was in so much pain. And after putting all the pieces together, I had an strong suspicion for ethylene hypophosphatemia. And uh, although this is a rare genetic form of rickets, I was fortunate to know about this condition because I had done research on this topic when I was in New York City. She said, you will not believe this. I just finished a one-year study in New York City in Goosebumps in XLH. And she said, Hannah's the first person I knew when I saw her x-rays. And she said, and most endocrinologists never come and ever see a case of it. She said, I wondered what in the world brought us from New York to Tyler, Texas. And she said, the answer is Hannah. You know, this is God's work. This is God's timing. He was showing off big time. Yeah. I mean, he was like, look what I'm doing here. I think we really do have a fever. I'm gonna give you a shot, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt. The medical condition that Hannah has is called X-linked hypophosphatemia. Essentially, her body doesn't retain some of the minerals that it needs to have strong bones. The treatment is called borosumab. It's an injection that has to be taken every two weeks. Without an injection, her bones would continue to deteriorate and she would be in pain all the time. She would have damage to her hearing. She would have dental issues. She would have stunted growth. This medication is a miracle. And I mean, you know, and it's been in the market for five years only. She's been getting this medication for almost two years. And you can see the miracle when you look at her. She's doing so many things that she couldn't do before. She started walking regularly and she started running and jumping. It's very gratifying to see this medicine has changed everything for her. Her life is going to be okay. I don't know what we would have done without Christus and the doctors from there. I mean, nobody else I don't think could have found this. There's no other doctor around here. It's very gratifying to see how God used me as an instrument with my knowledge to help Hannah and her family and what I pray for every day is that he will continue guiding me to help not only Hannah, but all of my patients.